Hello, my name is Kain Tunde Janius, and today I'm going to be teaching you cuckoo hashing, how it works exactly. I must tell you, cuckoo hashing is really very interesting because uh, it has to do with this bait called cuckoo. I'm not going to give all these details, but I'm going to explain how it works in the real sense. Um, let me remind you to subscribe. Just click on subscribe button so that you subscribe to my channel and then you encourage me to make uh, more videos. All right, so how does cuckoo hashing work? First, this cuckoo bait is a bait that is very uh, interesting because actually it doesn't build its own nest. It goes to an existing nest and throws out what is in there before. So how does it play out in cuckoo hashing tables? All right, first, I want to just give you this boring definition. Cuckoo hashing is a type of hashing where two hash functions, H1 and H2, are used so that each of the key can hash into two possible put, uh, locations in the hash table. So in cuckoo hashing, there are two hash functions h1 and h2. That's an interesting thing. And uh, search and deletion takes constant time while insertion is amortized and takes uh, constant time uh, expected. Amortized means it depends on the operation and varies. All right, let's go there. Let's now look at how it actually works. So I've set up two hash tables, H1 of X and H2 of X, to be able to use it to do a demonstration. So in this example, we are going to hash this data set into this hash table. So these two hash tables represent the cuckoo hash. So as I mentioned, cuckoo hash maintains two hash tables. So these two of them is the same hash uh, table uh, but different hash functions uh, as the spare. So let's start in the first place it uh, hashes with H1 and if it finds the location in the hash key it places it in that table uh, but if not it hashes it uses the second hash table. So let's start we want to hash mills the first item H1 of mills uh, let me take my pen please All right, H1 of mills gives us two, so we we put it here. Let's just call it MIL. So let's go to the next one. Oh, sorry, um, this. So H H1 of Jackie, that is the next item, gives us. Uh, let's say it gives us three. So no problem, we put it there, Jackie. Okay, so let's go to the next one. H1 of Addy, let's see what it gives us. Let me take my pen. So it gives us six, so we put it in six. So no problem for now, but I tell you problem is going to arise any moment from now. Because if you try to hash and there is something in there, that's when the problem comes. H1 of OT, that is this item here, it gives us uh, 8. No problem at all. So we place OT here. Alright, let's go to the next one, H1 of HT. Seems we are lucky this time, it gives us 0. So we place HT here. Wow, we are lucky. Okay, let's take H1 of Kani. Let's see what it gives us. It gives us 3. Oh, in 3 we already have Jackie. So what do we do? And we also have H1 of Kani hashing into location 3. Now, you may think that we just go and do H2. Uh, H2 of Canny, but that is not what we are going to do. We are going to throw out what is here and put um, put Canny in there. So throw out what is there and then calculate H2 of Jackie. Because you need to calculate H2 of what was already there before. And we are fortunate it gives us 1. So uh -huh, we place it in there. Permit me to just draw a line from here to here, after I'm going to explain what it means. 
All right, let's go to the next one. This one, Oli. Uh, let's see. You might also be surprised, maybe, when we try to hash in the second hash function, we find out that there is something in there before. H1 of Oli gives us five, so we are fortunate here. Let's take the next one, SAF. H1 of SAF, what does it give us? It gives us four. So everything is okay, so we place SAF in position four, SAF. Okay, let's go to the next one, Jadon. H1 of Jadon gives us, uh, it gives us seven. So we place Jadon here. Let's call it, yeah, Jadon. So hope we'll be fortunate this last time because this is the last one. So H1 of Solace, what does it give us? Let's see if we are fortunate. So H1 of Solace gives us eight. And we try, wow, there's something in there. So we take out eight and then um, place what? Solace in there. So what we are going to do is now take what is in there and calculate H2 of that. So we calculate H2 of OT because OT was what is in there before. And that gives us one. Wow, there's a problem. So in this case, uh, we have H2 of OT hashing into the same position as H1 of Jackie. Well, we, we don't have much problem, so we take out Jackie, just take out what is there and put the new one. Right? And that is fine. So what do we do? We now go back and now calculate H1 of Jackie, the item that we kicked out of that place. And since these hash functions are deterministic, H1 of Jackie is also going to give us three. And if we come here, we see we already have uh, Kani here. So we kick out Kani, put back Jackie, and then that will make it necessary to calculate H2 of what? Of Kani. That gives us six. So we place Kani here. So permit me to take out this and put back what? Jackie. That is how it works. So in this way, in this case, Kani moves from here to here, right? And that is fine. So Jackie moves from here to here and back. So these lines I'm drawing uh, helps us to see that Cuckoo graphs create a bipartite graph. A bipartite graph is a graph that has two ends from one end to the other. So, or it has edge that runs from one, one side to another side like this. So this is what is called a bipartite graph and that is also called a cuckoo graph. But what happens when we have a cycle? Let's say we hash an, an item, it comes here, we go to the other side, is already there and we come back is already there that means we are running into a cycle in this in this way if it happens this way then you need to choose a different hash functions and rehash so if you run into a cycle you choose new hash functions sorry uh, i'm going to change this so you choose new hash functions and the uh, rehash After choosing H1 and H2. So these are the basics of Cuckoo uh, Hashing. Uh, if this has been informative for you, like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video right now. And I would like to thank you for viewing. Share it with your friends. I remain kind and the genius. We'll see you in the next part.